we have talked before in the another video that we have um, dyes that are especially reactive, and one is cyclopentadiene, right? five carbons, so penta, cyclopentadiene. It's so reactive that it can undergo this reaction, the old solder, with itself. So, um, and, you, and it can, in other words, dimerize. So, if I have one of the molecules will be acting as diene and the other as dienophile. I can have that. And what happens here is again exactly the same movement that we have done before. We involve four plus two electrons. So I'm going to use four here and two here. And similarly, we're going to create with this part, um, say, six like a cyclohexane. And then, so... Let's see what we have used. Now making this bridge we didn't use, so I'm gonna do write it upwards. I'm having this easy double bond that forms, and I have now two new sigma bonds. These are my new. Let's make those bolder. These are the two sigma bonds that we're forming, and we will have now this. This double bond we didn't use. So these are the, the arrows here represent, let's make it on the same color here better. So the two new sigma bonds that we're representing there with the arrows. And now we will have this product, plus E and antimer. Now, it's so reactive, cyclopentadiene, cyclopentadiene, that again, this dimerization happens, um, and if we wanted to use cyclopentadiene in another reaction, say that I wanted to do cyclopentadiene and add it to this, um, same this dienophile. Well, when I'm going to do that in the lab, typically what we have to do is to crack uh, the dimer because most often this dimerizes easily. So before going, before doing this reaction, typically at the lab, what we do is that cracking and cracking the dimer is doing the retro deal solder. So. How that happens, then we're gonna break those bonds. We're gonna go here, break that bond. In the red, so now I'm gonna do this. And now this bond will go over here. Again, we're the um, same, we're involving um, the six electrons. And that way I am recovering um, cyclopentadiene. So here is the Diels-Halder reaction. And when I do the cracking, I'm doing the retro Diels Alder reaction, following the same idea. All right. 